from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson with the 10 News Update. The Department of Defense is moving 300 troops to our California border from Texas and Arizona. Of course, this comes after hundreds of migrants rushed the San Ysidro port of entry yesterday in a confrontation that had agents using tear gas. We're told most of the troops will be military police units along with some engineers. That will bring the total number of troops here in California to 1,800. In Otay Mesa, three people were seriously hurt after a police chase ended with a pickup truck smashing into an 18-wheeler. Police say it started this afternoon when a driver refused to yield for a traffic stop and then took off, leading police on that chase. Minutes later, the driver crashed into an 18-semi truck uh, near Brown Field, ending up underneath that truck. All intersections by Pacific Rim are closed this evening as police investigate the crash. Local sheriff's deputies will reportedly be charged for an incident earlier this year in Vista. Video shows those deputies slamming a man in handcuffs into a fence back in May. Another deputy was seen hitting the man's son in the head while he was also handcuffed. Those deputies were responding to a domestic violence call. The group Care San Diego says the district attorney's office is expected to file charges against those deputies tomorrow. We have not yet been able to confirm that. Gorgeous day in San Diego today. Much more to come this week. That's right. On Tuesday, it's going to be another mild day. Temperatures will stay in the low to mid 70s from the coast all the way inland. The winds will be offshore and then get ready for a cool down starting on Wednesday. Good one coming. All right. Thanks, Angelica. For the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free app. For 10 News, I'm Steve Atkinson.